A South Florida man who has served 32 years behind bars will soon be free. Our own crime specialist, Bridget Matter, sat down with Thomas Raynard James in prison just last week. He was given a life sentence for murder in Coconut Grove in 1990, but after a review of his case, he's being released. And today, state attorney Catherine Fernandez Rundle held a news conference about that case. Bridget joins us live from Miami with the update. Bridget. Well, Thomas James, his conviction and sentence was just vacated. He's officially an innocent man. We are now just waiting for him to be processed so he is officially free. This is video of Thomas Raynard James and state attorney Catherine Rundle. They held a press conference to announce vacating the life sentence of Thomas James. He was convicted in 1990 of a robbery and murder. The state's case relied largely on Dor Dorothy Walton's eyewitness testimony. I sat down with Thomas James in prison last week. He since took a polygraph test and passed. James had professed his innocence from the beginning. The state attorney says they're going to undo a wrongful conviction of an innocent man. She agrees there was no evidence tying James to the murder. There was no physical evidence that we could find tying anyone to the crime. To deny that such imperfections can result in an injustice would be a willful blindfulness on our part. It would be turning a blind eye. We can't do that. We must understand that in spite of all the solid, provable criminal cases made every day by police officers and prosecutors across this great nation, we as prosecutors must do all we can to ensure that mistakes do not happen. And when they happen, we have to correct those mistakes. Thomas James is now being processed. The state attorney's office will hold another press conference and we will hopefully learn more about what his plans are with his newfound freedom. For now, we're live in downtown Miami. Bridget Matter, Local 10 News.